Design systems and design files can get really messy really fast. I know you know what I mean. Whenever you have similar components with minor variations in terms of states or similar things, it's always best practice to group them into one simple asset. In today's video, I'll go over a really easy method that helps you plan, visualize, and create Figma variants. You'll also learn how to keep your files organized and structured, saving time for both you and your product team. Let's go. As a first step, you gotta have a plan. Ask yourself the following. What's the purpose of this component and what possible scenarios do you see yourself using this component for? In our case, we'll be looking at a card, the same one that we created in the video linked here above. Let's jump into Figma. So primarily, the purpose of this card is to draw attention about a specific subject, show some brief content, and in some cases, an action. To answer the second question, I do imagine this piece to come in various states and types, but today we'll focus mainly on the different types of cards. So for instance, I see one large variant including an image at the top and a smaller one without with just the bottom section. I also see a version with an action button and another one without. So let's visualize it. I make sure that the first component asset that I create has all these different variants included, sort of like a master copy. We'll paint the picture of all the variations by copying this into four types that we addressed earlier. So I would just put them here stacked on top of one another. I'll have two larger cards with an image cover and then two smaller cards without an image cover. So let's go ahead and remove them just so we can visualize how they end up looking. Each type would also have another property defining if the card contains one of these CTAs or not. That means that we'll end up having two different properties, one of them defining the type or the size of the cards and the other one being sort of like a switch or a toggle defining if the card has a CTA or not. So the vision is clear, let's go ahead and actually create the component. Since this is already a component, on the right panel you see the plus sign here next to variants. You can click there in order to add a new variant. And a pro tip is that if you select the variant frame and hold shift A, sort of like this, it actually turns into an auto layout frame. Now every time you create a new variant inside of it, it will automatically stack and be structured which means that if you have multiple frames and all of them look different, then you can just drag them around, reorganize them, and everything is going to be stacked in a container. This keeps your variant frames or components very organized. So let's select the variant frame and create the two different types of properties that we defined earlier. So one of them will be called CTA. The first one we'll just call type. You can batch select them by holding shift, making sure that both of these are set to default. And both of the bottom ones are called small. This now means that you have two properties, one called type, one called CTA. The first one called type, we have two different versions. One with default, the other one is small. The small ones, we wanna make sure that it doesn't have the, the image container. And for the CTA property, I see this being a switch. There's really only two options. Either it's a CTA or it's not. So it's either true or false, turning this into a Boolean property we just have to set these two as true and these two as false. We also want to make sure that that's reflected in the design. So let's go ahead and remove the buttons on these ones. So now we have the top variant being default and the CTA is true. The second one is also default, but the CTA is false. The bottom one, the small one, it's a small variant. And then the CTA is true, 
And the last one is a small type with the CTA being false. Let's test this out. So let's drag in the component variant. And now the right panel, we see all of the different settings that we applied for this Figma variant component. And now you can switch between the different options. So in this case, we can turn this into small. We can apply the CTA or not. And that's pretty much it. I use the same simple techniques in order to create massively complex design systems. I hope this helps speed up your work on Figma. And if you're running into any kind of problem, just let me know in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, and smash that like button for more videos like this. I can't wait to catch you guys in the next one. Peace.